Post Office wants to remind everyone, if you see something, say something. And take a look at your screen. Do you recognize these two men? Well, they're wanted for aggravated robbery in Brownsville. Police say the two men choked and stole a taxi driver's wallet before running off. If you know who these men are, call Brownsville Police. And this morning, we're working to find out more about why a woman was found unresponsive at the jail in Mission. The woman was arrested yesterday for warrants and drug possession. We don't know her name, but she was taken to the hospital in critical condition. As soon as we get any new information, We'll let you know on air and on valleycentral.com. Well, Danielle took us back to the 60s and 70s earlier, and now she's here to tell us how that was a, about a Beatles tribute show that'll be coming to the Valley. Well, now she's taking us to the 50s. There's another performance we won't want to miss. She's got our invite. Okay, we're going back 50s, 60s, 70s. Uh, you never know I'm, where I'm all over now. tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, this is pretty cool though. You like taking back old school music, right? Yeah, I'm in doubt with that Beatles. Now I'm looking forward to what we got next. Well, pay <laughs> attention, my friend. Let's rat. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. Let's shake, rattle, and roll. <laughs> All the way back to the 50s, Adam, because there's going to be a shake, rattle, and roll show happening in Harlingen. And it's going to be one that I'm sure we're all going to dig for sure. Now, the female singing group, Shake, Rattle, and Roll, knows all about great entertainment, I'm telling you. And this time they're bringing us their version of the famous rendition of the original music brought to us by the Big Joe Turner era in the 1954 time. Now, this is going to be a chance to go back and relive some of the best of the best 50s and 60s hits and really get into the groove with every beat of it. Attendees can catch the performers on stage for some family fun and rally together to be, uh, together rather to be involved in an exciting and interactive experience and this music magic group is a national and an international touring band so we're excited to be able to just welcome them to the 956 think of it like a blast from the past for an evening of music and dance and it's going to have you digging the beat for sure now this show is going to be going down tonight so you don't even have to wait for the fun it's happening tonight literally at uh, this evening <laughs> at 7 p.m. ending around 9 and the tickets are only 10 bucks so you can witness this old school show over at the Benson Grove Resort in Palm View and you can call the number you see right there on your screen if you would like more like I said Adam I'm taking you guys back I know blast from the past all morning look it's gonna be fun <laughs> it sounds like a good time for sure yeah I'm yeah, excited especially guys if you like to go out and dance and yeah. just kind of wear costumes or I don't know some people it might be not be a costume yeah this, hey. this one's gonna be really easy too even if you just have kind of a big skirt that yeah. you can wear yes. you're gonna be right on trend yes. so it looks like a great time perfect yeah. all right I'm really pumped about this thanks for the invite you're welcome well last hour we asked you to if you still had your Christmas tree up I, I want to know who does <laughs> here are the results 98% of you took it down and 10% still have it up. I'm surprised that there's still people <laughs> that have their Christmas tree up right now. I feel like, um, it, like in my family, like my parents, they took it down maybe two weeks after Christmas. Okay. Um, I, <laughs> I had a small live Christmas tree <laughs> that Jessica knows all about because I was sharing this with her. It was supposed to grow 30 feet if I were oh, to yeah. plant it. <laughs> supposed to? <laughs> what happened? It, it was dried up. Oh, it it dried, dried up like, two weeks after as well. So I think there's a trend for me and my family. Guys, you. Oh, wait, oh, wait, Tell me hold, about hold on. When, when did it uh, dry up or when did, did you, you allow it to dry down? <laughs> when did you take your Christmas yeah, tree down? Hey, hey, I'm changing the subject to Adam here. We don't need to talk about my <laughs> When did you take your Christmas tree yesterday. down? Yesterday, I took it down yesterday. <laughs> I feel like she had a heads up about this story and she said, I need to take it down so I won't be one of these statistics. <laughs> you guys, yeah. I leave my phone What about you? I usually take mine down the day after <gasps> Christmas, but this year I took it down two days after Christmas because okay. I was a little bit scrambling. That's Ran out of time. So two days after Christmas took it down. I think it needs to be down before the new year. I think it should be down February the 1st. We have different traditions here in the Valley, though, so some people will leave it for... That, as I've been told. Yeah, yeah. So I will allow it. I will allow it until, what, the 6th, 7th? Yeah, the 6th. 6th. Yeah. So take it down on the 7th of January. I'll allow it. I'll allow for it. For me, myself, if that thing is still up on... December 31st. It's a new holiday. What was it's yesterday? The new February year. 5th. Yeah, it doesn't matter, guys. It's yeah. fine. It's All right. New well, year. if you voted yes on that poll, that means you're on our Instagram page. <laughs> Send us a picture of your tree. I want to see what do. it looks yeah. like. Yeah. Yes. So, I won't get mad. Yeah, even if it's decorated for February, maybe for yeah. Valentine's Day or something. Yeah. That would be cool. It sounds good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, y'all know what time it is. It's time to see what we're eating for lunch today. Yum. Just Pasta. some ideas. Okay. Yum. Pasta. Sounds kind of good. Yeah, does, Temperatures in the does. 70s for your lunch break. Uh, you're not going to need a jacket of any sort. It's going to be a little breezy. It's going to be a little cloudy. It's going to be a little toasty. 